okay so back in the browser let's refresh that and you also see user instantiated so the um, second class is also being instantiated but you see a common trend here see this manual work that we're doing as of um, requiring all these classes this could be handled by composer for us that's where psr4 comes into play okay so to make use of psr4 so that it does all this grunt work for us what we need to do is um, we don't actually need namespaces but if you are um, having lots of folders like this wherein you can have multiple classes with the same name it makes sense to have namespaces okay so what we're going to do is let's go to users controller and let's namespace that uh, class there so we'll say namespace and we're going to namespace it uh, based off let's give this application a name so in this case let's just say app backslash and then let's say controllers based on this folder here controllers folder and then yeah so that would be the namespace for all controllers in that folder so let's um, go to the user class here and let's namespace that as well namespace and let's say app backslash models okay so that would be the namespace for every file uh, or class in this models folder here so back to the browser when you refresh this should not work anymore because it says users controller not found and that's because now we have given it namespaces we have to reference them um, by their namespace but um, we're not going to do all that because that's all work that could be done for us by composer okay so let's remove these required functions here and let's remove all of these uh, class actually let's not remove it let's just comment them out okay so to tell composer that you want to require all files inside of controllers here automatically what we need to do is configure our composer.json so inside of psr4 we are uh, give a folder but then we also give the base name of that um, folder as well not name but the namespace uh, for that base so in this case app will have a base namespace of um app that is okay so any files inside of here will be given the uh, base namespace of app okay so let's um try let's do that in um, our autoload psr4 configuration here so let's say um app and um, which folder that do we want that to correspond to is app as well so uh, we need two backslashes here so that that works so let's go to our command line and then we compile that so i'll just stop this um, ph4 php server here um actually i'll need to open up another command line so uh, let me just do that quickly so cd and then um Laravel composer Okay, so now what we need to do is just do a composer dump autoload so that it creates um, those um, namespaces automatic for us and includes them in our autoload file. Okay, so um, all we need to do now is just require this autoload file here. But first, let's run composer dump autoload. Okay, so I'll just do that quickly. Dump autoload. Okay, so I've run that. Okay, so next, what we need to do is just require that one file. In our um, project so require autoload or no, autoload composer actually vendor sorry about that guys and then um, forward slash autoload.php .php. okay so uh, before we actually make use of all these users controller let's have a look at what we have in um, the composer configuration here so let's have a look at autoload psr4 um, that is actually where those um, namespaces are being created. So right now what's happening is what Composer is doing is reading um, the path to this app folder here and saying that any files inside of there will have a base namespace of app. Okay, so now let's try to make use of those classes. Let's say users controller. Let's comment that out and comment the user uh, file as well class. And now let's refresh. What do you think will happen? And of course, it wouldn't work as well. It will fail. We didn't find those classes. And the reason for that is because now what PSR4 configuration does is it says, okay, is there any file in this app um, base folder here? And in this case, it's no. So it looks at any folder and says, are there any files inside of any subfolder inside of app? And this case is yes. So it's going to create another namespace for these files here. Okay. So what it will do is it will create an app namespace, then go one folder down and create controllers namespace and then reads any files in there if any classes are found within those files it creates um, appends that namespace to that class okay so in this case what will happen is it will say app controllers and then users controller 
okay so we can um, reference those um, files like that as opposed to just uh, user controller so to reference this now what we need to do is app um, backslash controllers and then backslash users controller so let's do the same for this app backslash controllers and then backslash user okay so let's go to our browser and then we refresh so it says user um, users instantiated and of course sorry for this this does not live in the users um, so the controllers folder it's in the models folder okay so i'll go here and change that and i refresh it says users instantiated for the controller and then user instantiated okay so um let's go ahead and create another model in here so um i'll just say new so let's just say file um dot php 